Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News, and I have the pleasure to be joined by the former WBO Cruiserweight World Champion Johnny Nelson. Johnny, how are you? It's Adam Azim versus O'Hara Davies Fight Week. I didn't think we'd get to this point after we were here when they announced it. And O'Hara Davis was in the ring complaining to everybody and anybody. I thought, he ain't turned up, he just too pissed off. I saw him yesterday, I thought, he looks in good condition. And, and surprisingly, don't be surprised if, if there is an upset, it's that one. Because O'Hara knows him, uh, he knows what he's like, he's known him from being a young man. O'Hara, O'Hara's success rate for knockout, knocking people out, is really good. Adam is not the finished article yet, but what he is is really good enough to meet most people. Uh, I think when he gets tired, as long as I hope Shane and Cole fix that, him moving back in straight lines. Um, uh, when he's getting away out of the way of a shot, because that's the worst thing you can do. Uh, so I think it's a good crossroads for him and O'Hara. Definitely as well. When I spoke to Adam a few weeks ago, he, he spoke about the names that O'Hara has been in with. Josh Taylor, uh, Jack Cattrall. I mean, some of the top, top names, obviously Ishmael Barroso as well, who we just recently lost to. Do you think that experience, even in defeat, will give O'Hara the edge in this fight, if there is one? And this is why an on form O'Hara Davis is a dangerous, dangerous fighter for him. And this is a crossroads for him to see if he can get, navigate his way through. To me, on paper, it's his toughest fight. Uh, to me, it's uh, his most dangerous fight today. Definitely. In your opinion, what does Adam need to do? To we we know him as this knockout knockout artist, obviously, or this person who hurts people in the ring. What does Adam need to do to potentially stop O'Hara Davies? In his speed, youth, and power, speed, youth, and power, and and, and, and put, jump out, put it on him early. Get the clean shots off. Get try and get rid of him early because as the fight rolls on. It suits the horror. Attack, so, despite, so different you different know what? Speed, you can power. Definitely as well. Obviously, big fight card on Saturday. Outside of the main event, what kind of fighter are you most looking forward to seeing in that ring on Saturday? Of course, you know, Dan Aziz has always been my, my favourite fighter. He's such a nice guy. Uh, I saw him in a hotel, looks in brilliant condition. Um, uh, and so, again, I look forward to that one, seeing that one. Um, of course, Jamie TKB is in the ring now. Heavyweights, everybody loves heavyweights, uh, and that's a good way. And Anthony Ard, uh, Anthony Ard has chance for him to, to, to show us a glimpse, first time, of what he's about. He's actually, I worked in the studio with him at the weekend. He's a nice kid. Yeah, he's actually a nice kid. Definitely as well. I want to touch on Anthony Ard. Obviously, back out. Obviously, a little bit of a run out on Saturday night, but hopefully, we all get to see the, the big fight with Joshua Bawatsi, which, speaking from a personal perspective, is the fight I want to see in the light heavyweight division. Yeah, uh, Josh Watson will be in the studio with us as well on Saturday. Good to hear. So these two are now talking the same language on the same page. So it's only the politics of our game why this won't happen. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Who, in your opinion, wins that fight between Yard and Blacks? You know what? Ask me that Saturday night. Ask me Saturday night because, because I think they are both very, very talented fighters. Uh, every time I've backed or doubted uh, Joshua Boatze, he's proved he has levels on levels, so I'd have to lean towards Joshua Boatze, but ask me something. Like. Who do you think's got the better wins out of the two? Obviously Boatze recently coming off that great, great win, I thought he performed excellently against Willie Hutchinson, obviously. Yard, we, we know him more about his performances in defeat against uh, Kovalev and Betabiev, but who do you think's the favourite in that? The latter is exactly what it is in defeat, so, so I'd actually look at the wins uh, I'd have to look at the wins of Joshua Boatze. Uh, they are the ones that, that put him out ahead. Definitely as well. I want to move on to um, the last weekend. Artur Art Betterbier versus Dimitri Bivol. I mean, a lot of contention about the decision, but in your opinion, Johnny, as a former fighter, who do you think edged that fight? It's subjective. I, I thought Betterbier had it by one round if it wasn't a draw. Uh, again, you know, you look at the fight, uh, Bivol started off fast, high pace, started to slow down. Betterbier started off at the same pace he finished at. Uh, so it looked like he finished strong. He didn't. He just kept it, kept the pace of what he was working at. I think the fight again, I think Bivol beats him uh, because he now he knows what, what it's about. He now he knows you know, how to pace himself or how much to put in the rounds. But, um, but yeah, it was good. Definitely. Last couple from me. Obviously, I do want to touch on the cruiserweight division. Obviously, Jar Pattaya getting the win out in Saudi Arabia. We've got Chris Billum Smith kind of out against Zedder Ramirez in a unification. I mean, if they do end up fighting, obviously, Chris Billum Smith and Jar Pattaya, who would you favour in that fight? Well, you're looking at the. I said to Chris Billum Smith when I was in the studio with him, I am never going to back, back against you again. I've done it so many times. 
Jan Pitai is a, a very, very talented fighter. And, and I saw him fight against Marius Bredis, uh, the second fight. And he started to, he lost his shape the second half of the fight. I thought, you know what, this kid's not as, he's not as, he's not as on fire as, you, as I thought. I thought he's not, the, he's not as good as what I thought, but he's a good fighter. That's a tough one. It's a tough one for every reason. Definitely a final one for me, Johnny, because I know you're busy here as well. We ask everyone who comes on the channel this, when all said and done, what does boxing mean to you? Everything. Everything. Former WBO Cruiserweight World Champion, Johnny Nelson, thank you very much, my man. Cheers, thank you.